Hello, everyone. Welcome to our webinar on Nitro Studio, particularly focused on portals and the modern UI. We'll be going through some demonstrations of the portals, the kind of portal interfaces, both in the classic mode and in the modern, in the modern UI, and various versions of SharePoint. So first, what I want to do is introduce Crow Canyon and myself. So let's do that. Oh, okay. First, actually, what I want to do is tell you about the previous webinars that we've had in Nitro Studio this month. We had these in earlier in November. We had creating solutions on SharePoint using Nitro forms and workflows. And then we had one on Nitro chatbots and AI services. And the chatbots and AI services are quite quite interesting, quite an interesting field we're going into where we're adding uh, chatbots into SharePoint and Office 365 through our Nitro services, Nitro Studio. And you can see those webinars recordings at the uh, crocanion.com slash webinars down below. That page is here. You can see that there is a crocanion.com slash webinars. And we had the one on November 8th about creating solutions with forms and workflows. And the one on November 14th about chatbots and AI services. And of course, this one's today about the portals and the modern UI. Also on this page, if you're interested, you can scroll down and you'll see our fall solution showcase where we go over IT solutions, work order solutions, HR solutions in SharePoint that we provide. And then there's one on Teams and manage and purchase requests. So it's you know, quite a number of webinars. If you're interested in seeing those or exploring that more, that's there. But for this webinar, we're going to be focused on portals and the modern UI. I am Scott Restivo, President and CEO of Crow Canyon Software. We've been in business 20 years now doing development on the Microsoft platforms. Our focus lately has been SharePoint. Well, lately being the last 12 or more years uh, has been on SharePoint. Of course, the on-premises at first, but now Office 365 very heavily. So we're covering quite a range of SharePoint possibilities on-premise as well as in Office 365. And we provide a number of uh, ways that we can enhance SharePoint and Office 365. We have business applications, out-of-the-box solutions. Well, help, well, I'll go into those in a moment. We have Nitro Studio, and we have custom solutions we do. The out-of-the-box applications include help desk, asset management, customer service, facilities requests, and all the ones listed here. You can see that on our crocanion.com website. So if you want a full-fledged out-of-the-box application that's ready to serve some business purpose as described here, we have those available in SharePoint and Office 365, SharePoint on-premises, anything from 2013, 2016, even 2019, as well as Office 365. We have the Nitro Studio, which has forms, workflows, reporting, employee portal, and we have to add on AI services and chatbots here uh, to this slide at some point, but we have that included in that also. And the uh, portals, we'll go into the portals somewhat today. We did the forms and workflows in the previous webinar. We talked about chatbots and AI in another one, and this one we'll talk about portals in the modern UI. So today we'll cover a demo of the classic portal. Then we'll go into comparing classic versus modern UI. We'll go do an overview of modern UI and a demo of it with the SPFX web part. And we'll talk a little bit about the chatbot and then do some Q&A with that. But before we get going, let me point out that in uh, the chatbot window, not chatbot, in the webinar window, I'm thinking chatbots all the time these days. Now, in the webinar window, there is a questions box, and you can enter in questions there anytime during this webinar, and one of our other staff will try and answer those. If not, we can always get a reply back to you for during uh, through email and you know through correspondence. We also encourage anyone who's interested in finding out more about anything Crow Canyon is doing, the business applications, Nitro Studio, the chatbots, the portals, the modern UI, we can arrange one-on-one -on -one, uh, conversations and demos. Our whole goal is to help you enhance the operations of your organization, whatever it is, whatever kind of corporation or, or nonprofit or education or healthcare, it really doesn't matter. We cover the full range, help you optimize, automate, streamline operations using SharePoint and Office 365. That's our goal and that's our intention in creating these applications and things. So the first thing I want to do is show the classic. So we have sort of a see where we're at with the classic UI. Okay, here is our help desk in a classic UI. And it has 
various components that are part of the classic UI. It has the look and feel of, of that look. And uh, what I also wanted to point out is that we developed the portal on the classic also. So let's look at that portal. The portal is something that will give end users a way to interact with the system without having to deal with the back end uh, directly. It's a secure interface. So what that means is that the people who you don't want to go to the back end and see all the tickets, like an HR or other kind of compliance situations, you don't want everybody seeing all the tickets that have been ever been created on the back end. So this, this portal gives them access to submit a ticket, view their own tickets that they submitted, see a knowledge base or service catalogs, you know, whatever you want to put here, but its focus is on that person or it could be a department manager or location manager. You know, it could, in other words, it's a restricted view of the back end interface that we're giving them here, and this is in a classic portal. So if we go back and look at the back end, we're seeing that there's all these possibilities that staff would use in order to resolve uh, tickets or manage assets or do customer service. But the end users or customers don't need that kind of complexity. So we do, and also we want secure access between the two. So we developed this portal, and this is in a classic. This is a classic view, a classic style portal. And in this, we have you know links up here. We have quick tickets. We have this, but it's a very kind of it's rigid format. It's very uh, useful and practical but it doesn't have any of the kind of flexibility you'll see in the modern UI once we go to that. Perfectly acceptable for SharePoint 2013, 2016, or if you want to use a classic interface, this works perfectly fine. But it would be interesting as we go through this webinar to compare it to the, what you get in the modern UI. What we did here is we gave administrators, if you're administrator, an option to go to portal settings and start, fix, start administrating or modifying configuring the portal. So there's many things you can do in here when you come in and you can set up the header how you want the header, what logo, what description, what title, where the links go. You can do the footer, that little footer at the bottom. You can do the menu section, what menus go up there. You can do a background image and, you know, obviously change this to any image or color or color gradient. So a lot you can do to uh, modify this classic portal. You can have home page settings, what tiles, what links, what notifications, what other links, what pages, what forms. This is a, quite a useful tool. But as they came out with, as Microsoft came out with the modern UI, there we could see that there's more flexibility and possibilities with the modern UI versus this. Uh, we have security settings here in this one. We you can do chat. There's a chat option down. You can add a live chat to it if you want to do chat integration. So I mean, it's a fully capable portal. It's very useful. Let's go back to the portal home. But the modern UI offers much more. So this is useful. If you're on the classic, you know, and you're in SharePoint 2013 to 2016, but when you see the modern, you'll see why people are moving to that and why that is more practical and useful than this right here. What this has is a lot of functionality, a lot of use. You can make really nice looking tiles and tiles, but you're kind of locked into this layout. Uh, this is a site that stands by itself with a particular configuration of the web pages, and it will uh, interact with the back end by pulling in information when you submit a new ticket or you view your existing tickets. But the layout is very, it's very rigid um, as far as things have to be in a certain place. Now you can do things like change the colors, take this image out, put different fields on here. There's a lot you can do with it. I mean, it's, it's good, but you'll see why the modern is better. So that's kind of an overview of the classic portal. Anyone interested in that or on SharePoint 2013, 2016, we can go into a lot more depth and show you how this makes it really nice interface for the end users. But if we, if you are on the modern UI and can go to that, you'll see what, what, uh, why Microsoft's moving in that direction and why we developed the portal on that. So first thing we want to do in this is compare classic and modern. Why modern? So let's go over to the modern, uh, let's go back to the slideshow and I had a slide there on the uh, modern UI and what, it's, uh, what it offers and what it can do. So let's go look at that right here. Uh, going from the beginning. Okay, now go to the next one. That's what we covered today. Okay. Okay, why modern UI? Well, Microsoft came out with this as a way to provide a better interface 
in the SharePoint Online. And the way Microsoft works, things start in SharePoint Online these days, and then they cascade down. So the modern UI will show up in SharePoint 2019, uh, you know, to a large degree, most of the features of it anyway, not all of them, most of the features of what's online uh, in the modern UI will be available in SharePoint 2019. Not in 2016 or 2013, uh, but in 2019, which just got released this fall. The, so what, what's, the what's good about it? Well, there's compelling, attractive sites. You can make them a lot more interesting. People used to say, oh, can you change SharePoint to something that doesn't look like SharePoint? Because that classic UI somehow wasn't getting people excited about using SharePoint. And to drive user adoption, of course, you want people to have an attractive interface. Our classic portal was moving in that direction by giving people you know, nice big buttons and easy to navigate uh, situation. Also, I should have pointed out that also works in a mobile device that uh, that portal we came out. So we were trying to fill those gaps and we, you know, in using the classic by coming up with this portal that I was showing you just earlier. But with now at the mobile UI, well, I mean the modern UI, we have much more capabilities to uh, to make the site, the portals and the, and the site much more attractive and compelling. And that's one of the big things is the look and feel really of the modern UI. Mobile friendly right from the start, uh, no, no trying to rework a site into being mobile. Uh, it's mobile friendly right from the start. It's faster. The modern UI pages load faster because a lot of browser side code and local caching. It's not pulling everything down from the server. It's more secure in that you can't just uh, that, uh, embed JavaScript like you could on the classic pages. And one big part is that it's very easy to configure with a variety of web parts available. Uh, we'll see that as I go through the modern UI demo. You can create it. You can really take that modern UI and create a create an internet, create an application portal, create all kinds of interesting combinations of web parts that apply to particular needs that you have uh, to show users in SharePoint. It's quite quite amazing uh, flexibility there, and quite a variety of web parts. And there's more coming out. We've developed a number of them ourselves, but of course, there's a whole bunch of them from Microsoft and other third party uh, other and third party vendors as well. There's the idea of hub sites, team sites, communication sites. I'm not going to go into that too much here because that's a whole topic in and of itself, but I'm at the point that those are available in the modern UI. There's been improvements to the list and libraries, and probably one of the more um, most compelling reasons to go with it is that this is where Microsoft is going. This is where they're putting the future investment. This is where they're, they're moving in terms of SharePoint and uh, Office 365 is into this modern UI. So, First, I you know I was a little reluctant to jump on board because I was used to the classic, but the more I jump, more I see it in action and play with it and work with it and find its usefulness. And as Microsoft improves it, you know they keep improving it uh, over the past year or so. It comes even more uh, more interesting and, and 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 sort of an imperative to move to it in the SharePoint Online world. So we've done that with our applications. We moved. All our web parts and all our applications are available both in classic and in the modern UI. We felt that was a very important uh, place to go. So, so what we want to do next is go into looking at the modern UI itself. And then we'll see uh, where to go from there. Okay, so let me get a, a browser up. This one right here, bring it over. Okay, so what I have going on here this is more or less the same IT help desk in a modern UI compared to the other one. I think we should do a side by side if I get rid of this PowerPoint thing. And uh, I'm going to do escape and do the other one side by side there. Uh, oh, thank you for sending. <laughs> okay, let's get out of that. And go show, show the other one side by side. Right here, let me escape out of that. Okay, so we're back here at the uh, classic. And now let's look at the modern modern so it's it's leaner tighter of course you can adjust all these uh this is a demo site and i think you can adjust how size it is but anyways it's leaner it's got different i mean it's a lot of differences so one thing i wanted to do as part of this demo is point some of these out to you uh here there are a number of pages a number of places where they compare these two together so a number of blogs in fact we have a a blog up here called Corkin Goes Modern under our blog, and it links to some of these pages. So this is one of them right here, showing the differences in these various screenshots. So here's a good screenshot right here. Classic versus modern. 
classic versus modern. You know, there's, there's a lot of a lot of differences in terms of the size, how it shows up on the mobile device, how it's laid out, uh, the bar right here. It, it seems subtle at first, but actually it comes out to be pretty significant differences. Let's look at some of the other changes. Here's a documents, a document library in the modern and see how small everything, this is much larger. This is on a mobile phone, so he's showing what it looks like on a mobile phone here. You can see there's a lot more uh, mobile-friendly layout here. And here's another uh, classic team site and modern team site showing. Yeah, it's subtle, but there's a lot of differences. It's like news, it's pretty obvious here. There's, there's uh, the document links over here. It's just overall a better user experience. And here's another one, especially on the mobile device. Again, when you see it on mobile, that same one, classic versus modern, you're getting a much better you know, experience because you have a larger image and larger text and isn't all this other stuff all around. So it's uh, quite, quite, um, quite interesting. And it, it comes even more apparent when you actually use it versus when you see classic versus modern in real use, in real life. And with the modern UI, uh, there's a lot of information coming out. One thing I wanted to point out uh, is this lookbook from Microsoft. It's called the SharePoint Lookbook. And I thought it was kind of interesting because what they're showing is that in the modern experience, you can have all these different things going on. You have news, branding, web, and put it all together into these nice looking intranets and home pages that you can do uh, quite easily with the modern UI, whether it's news and resources or social or highly visual really creating these web pages that are just not possible with the classic UI. You can do these hub sites, uh, you know, all kinds of interesting graphics and design, very much more modern modern look to it than the classic uh, view here. You know, that's communication sites, here's some team sites. And I thought it was interesting, they came out with this whole kind of designer lookbook, like you go to the, you know, I don't know, you're going to redo your cabinets of the kitchen and it's showing you all these designs. So this is kind of the idea here is they're showing you all these designs are possible. That's called the SharePoint Lookbook. That's one of the, one thing Microsoft came out with to, to emphasize the capabilities of the modern UI. So back to our, our stuff here, we have this going on and our portal now looks like this. Again, let's compare the two. This is the modern UI and the other one is over here, uh, over here in the Chrome right here, no, that's, that's not the right one. This one right here is right here in the, uh, uh, get back here, get back Jojo. Here we are right here. This one is the portal right here. So we have this portal is a classic and this is the modern, get that large. So let's go again, classic, modern. You got classic. looking like this, the modern. Well, much more than that, let's drill into this now and have some fun with the modern UI. This is a lot of fun. This is what I, because you can go right into edit. Now you can make edit available only to certain people. You don't want everybody editing it. So you have, if edit's available, you can start really drilling in here and adding lots of different uh, web parts and capabilities. This is what I want to show here with the modern UI. You can put in different web parts. Each one of these are web parts. These are our web parts, happen to be our link tiles right here, going in place here. This is our Crow Canyon list view, SPFX web parts that we put into our portal. So we have taken the modern UI page and you could edit, you can add sections, edit a section, add web parts, move sections around. You can make this very, very, this layout is very, very flexible and dynamic and you can change it how you want. So let's go down here and take a look at what things we can do. We can add a new section. The section can have one column, two columns, one third left, three columns, what third? Let's do a two column one right here. In this area, we can put in different web parts. Microsoft gives you a whole bunch right here. These are SPFX, modern UI web parts. And Crow Canyon has a bunch down here we added. So before we get into the Crow Canyon ones, let's look at the ones that Microsoft gives you. Now, the thing is, a page in modern UI can have any combination of web parts. Of course, it has to make sense, but any combination. It isn't like there's our web parts and their web parts. No, all these web parts can be on the same page used in the way that makes the most sense for the end user or manager interface or whatever. 
whatever you want to do to have it uh, be as lively and interactive as possible. You can put text in, images, you can view files that will show up, you can do links, you can embed uh, videos, you can do highlighted content. Highlighted content is the last, say the last five documents that were touched would be like highlighted content, you know, last mo five modified content. You can do even maps, you can put maps in, dividers, embed, uh, embed YouTube or Vimeo or other kind of videos, uh, repeating some of these here, image, image gallery, links, discovery, put document libraries, hero is pretty cool, you put a hero image in, and highlights there, list, you know, many, many things, including, you know, Yammer, Twitter, I mean, it goes on and on, and then uh, down here are the Crocanion ones, so let's open up the Crocanion ones, these are SPFX web parts we created specifically to uh, serve the needs of our applications, so we have like a service catalog, a dashboard, tiles and dials, uh, we can put some HTML text in if needed, knowledge base, link tiles, list rollup, list search, list view, progress dashboard report, report center, site settings, tile. These all come into play in this website, I mean in this modern UI portal. So here we are, and we could add it right in. So let's do a, uh, say we want to add a report in. Okay, let's go here, add a report. So here's reports, Crow Canyon. We add a report. We go to edit web part over here. And here we decide on a report. We have one report called Tickets by Category that we can use. We put a header text on it. Uh, tickets by Category, I guess, makes the most sense. And now this will show up on our uh, web part. It will show up here. Once we publish the page, we will have a report here that is, uh, that's going to show up. I have to refresh it. And so easily you can add reports, report centers, images, anything you want to do to this to this page to make it look how you want it to look. So now we've got this report going on. Not much data in our demo site here, so it's only showing up one, two, or three of this. But the point is that we've added easily added a report to this web to this web page. And so you have a portal and you can make it uh, do it whatever you want. Say you want to change this around and you say, well. I really want this on top. Well, that's easy. You just take this section and move it up here. And now it's up there. So you've moved that whole section. Or maybe you want to switch around uh, certain web parts within a section. So you say, oh, I'm going to put this one over here and that one over there. Or, you know, do it like that. Uh, or back over here. Like that. So, you know, you can move this around quite easily to be the way you want. Well, how would this work in some situations? Well, maybe you'd want an end user portal that has a particular layout, and then you want a manager portal that has a lot of reports and a dashboard. And maybe you want a, a department head portal. You know, so we can make all these different combinations very easily with this, with this, um, with this tool here, you know, with the modern UI. So uh, however you want to lay it out, it's quite interesting. So if I want to move that back to where it was, I'll go back here, and I think it goes here, if I got that right. Okay, I put it in that section, so it has to go back and, oh, I know what I'm doing. I've got to, I've got to move the whole section to make it work. So here we go, let's move the whole section. These little grab bar over here helps you move the whole section, not just the web part. So I'll move that section back there. The one column section is now there. It publish it, and it's good to go, and everybody can see the new changes you did. If you make changes you don't want, you can always discard changes and move on. So it's quite a, or save it for later, you know, if you want to do it for later. Quite a lot of possibilities here. So let's, uh, let's, add, let's publish that, yeah, let's publish this one right here. So now you have a portal that's highly flexible, it can be changed, you can do different things in it, and you can include our web parts or the Microsoft, and, and not or, and the Microsoft web parts and other third-party web parts and make this really nice looking page. Now this portal here, is serving a function, has to have a particular function. The function that's serving is that it's an interface for users to the backend tickets. So the backend ticketing system is over here. There's tickets listed right here. And again, this is a modern UI look uh, here. And all the tickets are listed and you can open it up. How do I, you know, look at the, look at the problem. These will show up in the portal. So we don't want necessarily people going to the back end looking at all the requests and tickets and you know monkeying around with stuff there. This is more for the staff to resolve the tickets and the you know other people to who need to interact and make modifications to the tickets or requests or answer the problem. But the end users can go here 
and have this. And this again is just like in the classic. There's a secure interface between this portal and the back end. So people come into this will only uh, people come into the help desk will be directed to this portal unless they're in a particular group that gets directed back to the uh, back end. So it's kind of like a very makes a very secure way to to manage it by having this whole uh, portal site that's separate from the back end site, and a lot of that can be controlled with the site settings here. Uh, who gets to what access to what is all determined there. So let me go in a few more things here uh, with this. So what about submitting a new ticket? Well, here we go, submit a ticket. It comes up using all the information from the back end, just like if the person had gone to the back end uh, and created a ticket there, here's a ticket. But there's another variation we can do. We can create, uh, using our Nitro Studio Forms Designer, we can create a form for the back end and then have a variation of it that's for the portal. So you might not want all these fields and tabs. You might want a very simple form here. Uh, very, I would make, in fact, personally, I would make it a lot simpler for IT. The, you know, what's the problem? And uh, we already know who the requester is. So unless there's some need to change, there's no really reason to show that. And then we can put that um, uh, very simple interface for the user and then send it back to the back end. You know, people on the back end might need all these tabs and things like that. So what we want to do is make it so that it's the easiest, most consistent, easy to use experience for people who are coming here. And then if they want to view their existing tickets, they can come here and view them. If they want to uh, change the view, see which ones are open, closed, all tickets, all this is configurable in part of this web part. Again, I could edit this page here. And if I wanted the users to see something different right here, a nice image at the top, add another section, I wanted to modify this web part right here, I could. All this is done quite easily through this modern UI. It makes things really, really simple and really, really easy to use, as well as being mobile friendly. I mean, it's, it's very, very mobile friendly. So anyway, so if I go here and list view and I start deciding what I want to show here, I've got what web, what URL, what list, uh, what, what the title is, you know, all these variations of what this grid would look like and how it should look there is configured and what shows up in the in the drop list here and those kind of things what columns are here all that is is uh, very easy to change using the modern ui here so i'm going to just discard those changes and go back to what it was i don't want to mess with things too much but you might want to add uh at the top uh maybe tiles tiles and dials that say this is what this is how many you have opened, this is how many, you know, give them statistics that are colorful and, and uh, bright. So how about the knowledge base? Look at the knowledge base. It's another one of our web parts that we built for SPFX. This one will show the list of articles, top rated articles, article by category, and you could do a search right here. Again, it's a demo with not too many articles in it, but you could do a search right here. Now, here's something interesting about this knowledge base web part that if we go in here, again, simply edit it, you can modify, add other other anything you want here in fact I would have maybe even add a list view of the uh, if I wanted to let's add a let's do something here we add a list view so easy to, to modify these things it's, it's quite interesting here uh, where do we go here I was gonna add a list view of yeah I guess I gotta go here knowledge base of the knowledge base okay that's I got to refresh that to do that so that's but I want to show you this before I do that is go here and here we have, you know, configuration of the knowledge base search web part. So we say what, what URL, what knowledge base, what panels to show. That's these three panels right here. Do you want to show that panel, not show it, uh, all that. But here's another thing. Notice there's page one and page two. So if we go to page two, we can activate NLP, which is natural language processing search. This means that instead of typing in printer, toner, low, somebody could type in, I'm having a problem, the printer seems to be, the, the, you know, pages are dim and the, I don't know, whatever, kind of natural language. And you just have to set that up by having a few, a few, um, you know, keys and stuff that you get. But anyways, it's enable, we can enable NLP, natural language processing, which is AI service on this knowledge base search right here as part of this web part. So there's a lot of, a lot going on both in the UI, how you can configure the UI and change it around there's also a lot going on as far as in each individual web part as to what you can do to make it really functional for the end users and really useful for the end users. So this is really, really kind of interesting things. Let's see if I got back that uh, whole list of components there. 
and see if I got that going now. List, yeah, here it is, list view of Crow Canyon. So I want to put in a list view right here. I want to edit this web part. Uh, I got another web URL, so let's over here, the web URL. Uh, like this one right here would be the web URL. Well, let me just put that in and take it out. Okay. So see, so over here, uh, where is I edit in this web part right here. So I go here and put this in, take off the, the part about site pages and whatnot. And the list here should give me knowledge base list, KB list, and web part title will say knowledge base. Why not? Knowledge base. And the, the list views will use all, all items. And how many you want to list per page? Five total items, 100. You know, how this all parameters you can do, but I'll just go there and uh, get that done right now without, you know, doing too much. So here we go, edit, and then we publish this. And it should have the list of all the, all the knowledge base articles there. I think there's only two of them, actually. There we go. So we can say, you know, so we just modified this page in the portal so easily adding a list view right there and you, you know easily add on a lot of other any other web part you wanted on there so let's go edit again and uh, you can add a, another section at the top if you wanted here you can add a new section edit this section or add a new section add a web part here a lot you can do to make it work the way you want this gives a lot more flexibility than we had in that classic uh, interface a lot more a lot more going and we keep developing these web parts more and more and more so if I publish this I think I already did publish it so we'll go to discard changes and go back to the version that we had and here we are so let's go back to the home then and of this portal and start monkeying around even more with this here so say we want to create a manager reports page you know, this is good for end users. What about for managers? Okay, let's go add a page. We add a page. We name it Manager Reports. Maybe we want to put an image in here, uh, some kind of recent image. You know, we find a logo or something like that. Yeah, let's try that. It might be a bit big. Let's we'll see what happens. Open. Edit. Uh, check. I guess I can check. A recent image. Open that. Oh, maybe it's too big or something, but let me see if I can find one. Backgrounds. You know, let's put some background in there just for fun. So now we have a, a background, and you could, you could decide where you want the focal point of this to be. So there you got manage reports. You know, and again, now there's a lot of other images uh, you could use, and you could bring up your own logo and things like that. So then we say, okay, let's add a section. The section we're going to add uh, maybe three, two columns. Then we go here and say, okay, we want some reports going on. So we're going to go find the Crow Canyon reports. And again, edit the web part like I did previously here to go in and do tickets by category. But if I wanted to do other reports, I could go in here to our Nitro reports and start building another report that could be used here. So we go here into this part of Nitro Studio, the Nitro reports. I could go in here and create a new report. And uh, what would I do it on? Well, I got to think of what kind of report I would want, maybe uh, who it's assigned to. So I say staff load. You know, and it'd be in the current site. Actually, it's not the current site. It's this one called IT Premium 2. And the list is tickets. We're looking at the tickets list. And we're going to select a view of all items. Let's say all open items. And we're going to do a chart. You can do a chart, a table. And then you come in and um, how about a bar chart? And then we do a column header of assigned staff, and the column would be assigned staff. And let's see if we got, whoa, oh, we got to have a count here uh, of a column, a case ID, and do the count. And uh, show in the report center. And let's see if we get a preview, if I got that right here. Kind of doing this on the fly. We're creating a report. So that's good. Yes, one, none, are, those are unassigned. This, he has two, I have one. Okay, so that will work. Let's go over here and save it. And now it would be uh, available over in the manager reports. See, this Nitro Studio and the modern UI are interacting here quite nicely. And I think I'd have to uh, refresh this in order to get that back. You know, in other words, go back and open up edit web part again. And now it should have two in there. Okay, let me refresh that. 
and uh, start that over again and go here edit and it should have two in there yeah staff load is there now and I can put here staff load I could hide the header I can do all these other things with it but let's do that and here and then go publish it and of course you might want to add other reports but we're trying to do this to show you the capabilities here of these kind of reports so now the uh, manage report shows up and you can start to build the page that way you know build nice page like this very easy uh, and then you can you know, when you have the report you export to PDF this is all functions of Nitro report so it's kind of cool save as PNG send an email print it, uh, sketch you know filter and all that stuff but they can easily what we've done is very simply and easily created a another page in the modern UI nice looking page available in a mobile devices for a manager so maybe in our portal we need a manager report that we're doing it you know and this could have a lot of other features and capabilities on it another report over here uh, maybe a tiles and dials up here so if you know you go back in and edit like uh, you know do this all day and night if you like and just do whatever add another section up here uh, and then maybe you want to put the tiles in from Crocane and tiles you can hit this thing that expands it go down here hit see all and now you have the tiles uh, here. Tiles will give you uh, certain uh, certain things you can configure here, a group name, there aren't any, so you go over here to tiles and dials. This is another part of our Nitro Studio, tiles and dials, configure some tiles, another tile group, and then you would uh, have those show up looking like, like they do on the home page here. Let me go back here and show you what I mean by that over here on the uh, home page. We have we have um, tiles right here. This is what the tiles would look like if I put that into the manager's page. Okay, so back to the manager reports. Well, maybe we don't want to do that right now. We can take that web part right off. And maybe we want to put in some uh, news or something that's a traditional Microsoft, you know, out-of-the-box Microsoft. Maybe a, a file like like a report, you know, summary report of the weekly activity. It could be a link somewhere. It could be a, a video. We can embed a video right in here. So uh, if we want to do that, I've actually got the code that you embed over on my other screen. I'm going to copy it. I got it from YouTube. And I go here, and I put it in, and lo and behold, the video shows up there. So now we have a manager page with a report and video, and maybe you want to put that into two columns, you know, edit this section. And you say, well, really, it'd be better if that was shrunk down a bit. So I'll do it like that. And now you've put the video into a smaller space and given you a place to put another video in. See how easy it is to make these things look the way you want? So, so cool and interesting you can do here. And then you can say, well, that's good, but I really want this section up here. So I just go here and move it up there. And you have now moved uh, the reports up and the video down. So you start to really see how easy it is to make this page look what you want using some of what we have, you know, the Crow Canyon stuff, as well as looking at uh, what Microsoft or, you know, and other vendors, I guess, provide in here, you know, images, highlighted, it could be highlighted content, it could be the last five documents or 10 documents that were touched. You could put a map if the manager doesn't know how to get to the office for some reason. <laughs> Just kidding, of course. But, you know, you put a map of some event that's going on or some activity, you know, like we're going to Chicago SharePoint Fest next week. So maybe I want to tell people that here's the directions to the hotel or something like that, you know? things like that. Also a link library is pretty cool. You can put a whole link library in here and put in a whole bunch of links. Uh, that's, that's a lot of fun. You come here and just start paste a link, you know, like to uh, just start pasting links in here, paste a link to a page, a video, www.nitrostudio, nitro.studio, see if that works. Please enter. Oh, I got to put ATP in front of it. Anyway, I hope people are, are seeing like the value of this, um, you know, value of this modern web page. See, I put a link to now we have a link to Nitro Studio right there. We have a report, a link. So we're combining a number, a number of factors here, even it pulled in like the image as well as the uh, little bit of code here, a little bit of, you know, snippet sort of. And we have a video making really cool and interesting pages for people uh, that can be very, very functional and useful. And of course, there's a lot more that can be done with images or news or, or uh, other components that make it even more 
uh, practical and useful for people. Easily changed. Uh, it can be changed easily on the fly. Uh, a lot of good things going on here. So that's why we we feel like this is a you know a good approach for people in Office 365. We're working a lot in this direction to make sure that the uh, all our web parts are working there, all our functionality is here, and that we're making we're taking the best advantage of this. Now, one thing that we did add on here, uh, and this could be on to any of our applications, is this whole bot. Here's the chat bot right here, ready to talk to us. And this again uses AI services. So we say hi. And I think this one I have to log in. Uh, it's a you know it's a demo environment, so it's it's doing something where. I thought, you know, type the chat. Maybe I'm already logged in. Okay, so let's see what it says. Uh, uh, email not. My email's not working. My email is not working. Let's see if it comes back with anything. Of course, this is this is okay. Yeah, it did require me with the sign in. It's a demo, so you know, it's a little bit going on here. Uh, so I have to sign in with this account. Uh, okay, I didn't set this up properly uh, really to work well on this demo, but uh, sorry about that. But I will go uh, back to our other screen here. That's a nice river in Colorado on the screen, by the way. So here we are on uh, this one, which has a bot going. Classic one. Here we go. Let's go back here and do the bot. Same bot idea. You can put the different names up here. Uh, we're working on personalities for the bot. It's kind of fun. So we go sign in. This one I think I have to sign in also. Okay, so let's sign in here. It's going to give me a number. Uh, admin account. Here's the number. So I can go back to the bot and use it. So this is just to register who I am with it. So here we go. So now it's saying, uh, okay, what's your problem? This is signed in as admin. Please describe your problem. All that text is configurable by you, how you want to do it. Uh, let's see, what is it? Printer. Printer is not working. Printing is not working. I'll say printer is not working. I don't know. Something like that. And then, you know, one thing we do is data optimization in the back end to help you take all your ticket history and turn it into a useful knowledge base. Uh, so here we go and see what it said here. It said, found below articles matching your problem. Printer is not working. Fixing a paper jam. So you can, if that doesn't solve the problem, then you can either go further with the chat or you can say, uh, enter more detail, try something else, start over. Or you can go right into submitting a ticket right there. You can go into submitting a ticket so that it will take information knowing who you are and what your question was and put that whole transcript into the new ticket that shows up there. But uh, So that that is not necessarily related to the modern UI per se. It's part of our Nitro Studio, whether you are using it in the classic or modern, but I wanted to show it anyway. So I think it's cool. So here we are back in the uh, modern UI. We were building this, we were building this report uh, page for people, but back to uh, here, back, let's go back to the home. Did I publish? Let me publish this so I get, make sure I keep the changes. And now another point is, okay, you did this page, that's nice. How do you put it up into the, uh, you know, up here, right? So it's easy to get to. And also how you can make it so it only shows up for managers and, you know, get all kinds of things to make it so that this page only shows up when the person's in some manager group. For instance, site settings only shows up when it's a uh, person is an IT owner and the person I'm logged in as is in the IT owner. So let me go in here and go to site settings and this is where you set up the menu at the top. So these things are, you know, what shows up here is dependent on who, you, what group you're in. So here we are with the web title, IT premium, IT premium, to tr create and track, to create and track. Do you want to show that black bar at the top right here? You can or not, it's up to you. And, but the menu section is right here. So we're going to add a new menu item here. New menu item. There we go. So we're going to call it manager dashboard. Dashboard. Or manager reports. Eh, dashboards. Okay, dashboard. Dashboard. And the, and the URL is this. It's going to open it up in the new tab. And it's available only on the desktop. Well, you can have it on both. Why not? Desktop and tablet. It's only to specify groups. So it's only available to say... Well, I'd have to create a group called uh, managers here, but let's just assume, I don't know, let's do IT owners for now. And uh, that would show up here now, manager dashboard. I came in, I do save the settings, 
and uh, setting save successfully. And then I do a refresh. And if things went right, manager dashboard should show up. Yeah, there it is, right? I just added this on. So then I could go right to the manager dashboard and it will show me uh, the, the page I configured, see, right there. I mean, it's kind of minimal page, but you can add all kinds of interesting other things to it. More reports, more videos, maybe uh, tiles of dials, the tile links. So quite a number of possibilities with this uh, modern UI and uh, our, our changes. So there's modern UI that Microsoft gives you with all these parts. We've enhanced that with our SPFX web parts that I'm showing here, like the reporting, uh, this part up here, um, you know, the portal, the portal kind of interface up here, all those other web parts I was, I was uh, showing you. And that helps it become more uh, an application portal. Now, Microsoft, as out of the box, you could create an internet quite nicely by putting news with links, with events, with blah, 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 blah. But for an application, you really need the kind of stuff that we've added on, which are the Nitro forms, the list views, the knowledge base, uh, different kinds of dashboards you can create, reporting, all the tools that come with the Nitro Studio. And switching back just a moment to that uh, studio, the Nitro apps here, Nitro Studio apps, you can see that this, our Nitro Studio includes all these different ways of doing the forms, the workflows, the report. So we have an application running using our enhancements to SharePoint called the Nitro Studio, where you can create forms, workflows, reports, Power Portal, all these different things. And then the application interface is now in the modern UI that you can use when you submit a ticket, you use Nitro Forms. When you use View Tickets, you're using SharePoint, our SharePoint List View Grid. When you do Knowledge Base, you use in our NLP, Natural Language Processing Infused, you might say, Knowledge Base. Uh, they are using our SAS Service Catalog. You set up a manager dashboard that has our reports on it and things like that. So the combination of, of Microsoft stuff, of course, is the foundation, uh, you know, what they provide. But our Nitro Studio enhancements, the modern UI, gives a very compelling uh, reason to use, you know, the Crow Canyon applications to provide these functions. So hopefully this is like kind of a minimal uh, introduction to the modern UI. It's hopefully exciting some interest in it and how we're taking advantage of it to show what can be done with applications uh, and how we can take it from kind of these not as user, user engaging applications into a much more compelling and attractive site, friendly, mobile friendly. Let's, let's do that. Let's do the mobile thing here, right here, and shrink this thing down. So you've got, you know, your, your mobile device is working quite nicely here. How do you fix a paper jam? Have that come up. You're going to have it all working inside of this uh, mobile device so they can take care. Now you can also you know, tune these forms to be more appropriate for mobile by having reduced uh, fields on it. But you can go into edit with your finger. I'm clicking, but normally you do it with your finger, I guess. And you come here and uh, start modifying this form. Say, you, say you're out in the field and you have a, a ticket you want to resolve. Like, I just fixed this person's problem. Okay, so you go here and you would have um, a, probably a simpler form than this come in and you just mark it closed. Uh, you know, the status would be closed here. Mark the status closed on this one. And then it would be move on. But actually, you can do that with buttons in the ribbon here, which are there. Uh, this is interesting, too. I, you know, the chat bot shows up here, too. So that's good. And then the ribbon, you have the, you know, the hamburger menu, as they say, and go to the other areas. So quite a, quite a lot going on with the uh, with the modern ui and with our applications let's go back here so that is a way to have a drive user adoption by having a nice good you know nice friendly easy to use interface that works attractive in the in the uh desktop view tablet view mobile view they can things can be adjusted in our forms designer as to how the ticket will look in the different environments uh, you can have different different menu items up here you can add on a you know, particular report, you know, portals or dashboard for for particular groups such as managers or department heads or CEOs or whatever. You can do that up here. You can make it really interesting and attractive. You can add on web parts that are either hours or 
Microsofts and whatever to make it look, you know, to really give an a insight into what is going on with the operations of the business or the particular service desk or customer service, you know, that particular function of the business can get insights into it. Quite a quite an interesting world to go into. So that's where we're going with the portals and with the uh, with the use of the modern UI. We're using that in Office 365 quite a, quite extensively now and developing what they call the SPFX web parts and more web parts that we need to make the application functionality happen. Uh, people can still use a classic if they like. The, our Nitro Studio works in either one. Uh, but this webinar was about portals, both in classic and modern, as well as the capabilities of the modern UI and a little bit of showing off the chatbot there that we have. Uh, going on and some of the AI services we're bringing into into functionality here. So here we go with this uh, home page. This could be modified also just by editing. Again, it's kind of like a portal, but it's more like the staff space on the back end. This can be this can be uh, modified also. We have the links here. In fact, if I had a little more time, I don't want to do it in real time here. I would adjust this so this is larger and this is smaller. So it's, you know, kind of even these out a little. But you can see that there's our tiles. Our this is tiles. This is dials. Tiles and dials. This is the list search. These are another way to do links right here. Link tiles. You can put pictures on them. This is kind of very basic, but you can put pictures and logos on here and have it uh, different colors. So all kinds of interesting things you do here uh, with the home page. This is a home page for the staff. See, it's not the. It's kind of like a portal or workspace for the. For the end users that they can, I mean, for the uh, staff, back end staff to use, you know, when they go, they can also go, go to the ticket list itself and start working that quite easily also. And here you start to get all these functions up here. If you open one up, you get the Nitro form, which also has uh, extended actions at the top. And you can have all these different actions going on at the top. This is all in the modern UI. It works just as well in the uh, classic. We can revise this form any way you want. So uh, quite quite a lot of possibilities. So we're coming up on the hour. Let's end at this moment and move on. And hopefully this has given you good insights into the modern UI, into portals, and where Crow Canyon is going with this. We'd be glad to have a one-on-one -on -one demo at any time with anybody uh, who's interested in you know using the modern UI or our applications in the classic view. Either way, and I hope you enjoyed this overview of this and. Uh, Appreciate your taking the time to listen and see what we have to offer. Thank you very much.